Hi friends, 22, 2022, the end. Wow, what a year it's been. Some big challenges and some amazing breakthroughs. 2023 marks 30 years of me painting full time. That's three decades of painting full time. And I, I think I'm beginning to learn just this much about oil painting. It's a medium that you never master, that you're always learning, that's always challenging you. Uh, this last year, I completed two of my largest paintings ever, eight by 18 foot canvases as part of a project that we were doing in Montana where I led all the design and, uh, of the art moments where I did a sculpture of bugling elk, one and a half life size bugling elk at the entryway. And then at the entry door had a hand carved door that was the same scene of bugling elk in a fall setting that you could see the same scene from two different directions. And then a glass chandelier that hangs over the dining room of 15 foot by five feet wide of hand blown glass aspen branches embedded with gold leaf. And then on the entryway, I did the eight by 18 foot canvases called Aspen One and Aspen Two, celebrating the beauty and the magic of aspen trees, all done with a palette knife. Now it had a hard deadline, so I had to work 18 hour days. So it's nice to know after painting for all these years and at 58 years old, I can still grind it when I need to. Uh, I was away from my family though, so it was a, a big sacrifice to, to meet this deadline weeks after weeks of very little sleep. But my family came out, Amy and the girls, and we, we celebrated the final and the completion of the project and the painting by them putting the final strokes of leaves in the scene. I love painting. It's the reason that I exist. I eat, sleep, and breathe painting. And I'm so happy about this year's collection. It really is a, a celebration of diversity of the different biomes, all created and, and paid homage uh, with a different palette. That's a distinctive aspect of my work is that I use a different palette for each different subject or each time of year. And it's important, I think, that, um, that you capture the character of that subject in its environment. Um, and it requires a different palette. So you'll see in this year's collection, I really pushed the envelope. I pushed some colors and I pulled some way back and some were monochromatic like in this year's featured painting called The Boss which is a Cape Buffalo inspired by the famous painting by Landseer called Monarch of the Glen, Low Horizon Line, and just really reveals the character. To me, it's all about the character. If you get the face and the eyes right and the line right, you don't need color. And I think ba this painting Boss is that. It's a black and white monochromatic celebration of the majesty of the Cape Buffalo subject that I always return to over and over again. Uh, our foundation work, we had some great uh, uh, projects this year that we continue to support and some big breakthroughs. Some of the highlights were the mountain gorillas in Rwanda. We're continuing to do our work there and over in Uganda. Some great con rhino conservation in Zimbabwe and now we're adding Namibia. The Greater Mar Ecosystem, that's an important part of the Serengeti ecosystem. It's the scalp of the Serengeti ecosystem. We're continuing our work there, which is really important in the, che the world of cheetahs because we're finding out by um, putting uh, GPS collars on them, where they're moving to, where they move out in the Serengeti, what trends are influencing their population, and, uh, and, and really getting a lot of information that you can only get with a GPS collar. It's the second round of um, tranche of, of work with the, the Cheetah Project. And then we're also engaging these children in this region to join the wildlife clubs. Wildlife clubs are a great way for kids to begin to uh, understand wildlife, learn about it, go out and see it. Instead of growing up in a world where wildlife is just an economic burden that they have to deal with or, or remove or exploit. So getting these communities engaged is really import, important to um, Break, to mitigate that human-animal conflict. And then we're continuing our connectivity efforts in Tanzania where between the Mara ecosystem and the Ngorogoro 
um, crater ecosystem, Lake Minyara and the Nagorgo Crater Conservation Area, and linking it with the Tarangiri ecosystem. Really important um, pathway for biodiversity and genetic diversity to, to continue to cross into those ecosystems. And then finally, this year marks 50 years of me painting wildlife. It's a celebration of five decades because I did my very first painting. That's why I placed it there for you to see that my mother saved after all these years of when I was age seven. Roger Kipling's Jungle Book characters, that's where it all started. My love of painting wildlife in oil paints. I appreciate so much you all joining me on this journey. Thank you for being part of my career. Thank you for your friendship and your support. And to all of you, I wish you a happy, healthy, and adventurous new year. Hope to see you at the shows.